Yes, good morning, students. The last class we derived the expression for electrical field intensity uh, at any point due to the linear surface. It means the charges are distributed in a line or a wire. Now, the charges are distributed in a surface. That is a two-dimensional uh, uh, what objects. So here we consider as the two-dimensional two object is a sheet. So that is so this is a thin sheet. So we take it as a thin sheet. The charges are distributed on this a surface of the a thin plane sheet. Sigma is the surface charge density of the uh, what a plane sheet. And uh, what is that? That we have to find out the electrical field intensity at the point P uh, due to the surface charge density of the plane sheet. So the point P is at the distance R from the uh, what? A cylinder. That is called as Gaussian cylinder. Before finding the electrical field intensity, here we use a Gaussian surface. Here the Gaussian surface is a cylindrical shape. We have used a cylindrical Gaussian surface here. So we have find the electrical field intensity at point P. So that point P is at a distance R from both the sides of the shape. From here to here, that is R, and we also take the imaginary Gaussian cylinder, Gaussian cylinder on the other side of the sheet also. That, that distance from the point P is R. So R is the distance between where we are finding the electrical field intensity from the plane sheet. Now <coughs> you know that according to the what Gauss theorem, according to the Gauss theorem, so surface integral of vector E dot ds is equal to surface integral of vector e dot ds is equal to so 1 by epsilon naught into q 1 by epsilon naught into q so here q is you know that it is surface charge density the charges are distributed on the surface that is called as sigma so according to that you already learned in the continuous distribution of charges that is linear uh, charge density that is q by l surface charge density that is q by s so here s is the uh, surface of the given plane sheet so surface integral of vector e dot ds is equal to this q becomes what uh, that is sigma is equal to q by s in that surface charge density or q is equal to what sigma into s so in the place of q uh, right sigma s by epsilon naught. Why sigma s here? Sigma s is the surface charge density of the plane sheet. Now, this expression can be written as, so this expression or this you call this equation number 1. Now, you know that this plane sheet, look at the diagram, this plane sheet I divided into 3 parts. This plane sheet I divided into for that is the end caps the end caps 1 and 2 so this is part 2 and this is the center of the cylinder that is I call 3 so here the electrical field intensity is always perpendicular to the sheet so a end cap 1 and 2 is also perpendicular look like this it's also a perpendicular to the plane sheet so electrical field intensity and the area in this uh, reason. So electrical field intensity is perpendicular to the what sheet but this area vector, this surface is along the sheet, is along the sheet. It means area vector and electrical field intensity in this uh, region is perpendicular. So understand this, first the what is the reason 1 and the reason 2. In reason 1 and reason 2 electrical field intensity you know that when the charges are distributed in a plane sheet in that plane sheet electrical field intensity is always outward that is perpendicular to the sheet so when we are introducing the gaussian uh, surface the gaussian surface is in the form of cylindrical shape so into this a plane sheet now the two end caps the two end caps of the gaussian cylinder is also perpendicular to the plane sheet now the electrical field intensity and the the area vector of the two end cap is also is, is, on the, is in the same direction. It's in the same direction. So the angle between E and uh, area vector is zero in the 
reason one and two, that is two end caps. But we are saying that we are in this reason the anticorrel field intensity is perpendicular to the sheet, but this while inserting this Gaussian cylinder, this area, this area is a uh, area vector is along the direction of the plane sheet. So it means electrical field intensity and the area vector in this region is 90 degree that is perpendicular to each other. Now equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes now surface we divide this entire Gaussian surface into three parts. Surface integral of first part vector that is first end cap vector E dot ds plus surface integral of second end cap. So here in this reason that is vector E dot ds plus surface integral of third reason that is here in the center of the Gaussian cylinder that is vector E dot ds is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into q. Now, I already explained this. So, in the reason that is n caps 1 and 2, the electrical field intensity and the area vector are in the same direction. But in this reason that is in the part 3, the electrical field intensity is what? The electrical field intensity is perpendicular to the electrical field intensity is perpendicular to the area vector. So, in this, the angle is 0. In this, sorry, in this angle is 90 degree. Now, the whole term becomes 0. So, here, that is integral of first end cap. You can write as EDS cos 0 plus surface integral of the second end cap. EDS cos 0 plus here. EDS cos 90 degree is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into Q is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into Q. Now in this case, in this case, so this becomes what 0. This whole term, this whole term becomes 0. Now this expression becomes so here electrical field intensity, electrical field intensity in the entire region is always constant, it passes through in all the region is same. So we take it outside, surface integral of first part ds plus E surface integral of second part ds into ds plus 0 is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into q is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into q. Now this expression becomes now this expression becomes e into what is integral of ds that is on the plane surface that is the surface of the sheet is ds now es plus now here also e integral of ds again the, the whole surface is ds plus 0 is equal to q by epsilon naught but q is equal to you know that sigma is equal to q by s or q is equal to sigma s now es plus es is equal to sigma s by epsilon naught so 2 es is equal to Sigma S by epsilon naught. Now S is cancel. E is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So this is the final expression for electrical field intensity. This is the final expression for electrical field intensity at any point when the charges are distributed in a thin plane sheet. When the charges are distributed in a thin plane sheet, the electrical field intensity at any point that formula is by 2 epsilon naught. Suppose, suppose if you take no special case here, suppose instead of a thin sheet, if you take the thick sheet, in that thick sheet, so the charges are distributed both the sides of the plane sheet. So here we consider the electrical field intensity on both the sides. So in that case, 2 
that is with the e dot ds is equal to 2 sigma s by epsilon naught 2 sigma x by epsilon naught and here 2 es both the sides 2 es is equal to 2 sigma s by epsilon naught 2 2 cancel s is cancel then e is equal to sigma by epsilon naught so this is the expression for that is the expression for a thick sheet electrical free intensity at any point in a thick sheet in a thick sheet we consider the charges are present on both the sides of the uh, sheet here we derive this expression this expression only for electrical free intensity uh, for a plain thick sheet and it is the expression for electrical free intensity of a thick sheet understand what is the formula to find the electrical free intensity on a uh, thin plane sheet that is uh, final expression is sigma by 2 epsilon naught what is sigma surface charge density what is the expression for electrical free intensity at any point by using a thick sheet that is sigma by epsilon naught sigma by epsilon naught is the electrical free intensity of a thick plane sheet and sigma by 2 epsilon naught is the electrical free intensity of a uh, plane thin sheet thank you